Bonjour everybody, this is Mike with my second day in Quebec City actually. I'm sorry I didn't vlog on the first day, I had so much going on between the flight and getting to my hotel and I also had a walking tour shortly after I arrived. I'm staying at the Hotel St. Anne in the upper town, which is not far from the iconic Chateau Frontenac at all. And as soon as I got here, this place is just so European. There's French architecture, French food, everybody speaks French. And let me tell you, I have completely forgotten that I'm still in North America, let alone a short flight away from New York. So this morning I'm going on a bus tour to Montmorency Falls, which are not as wide, but taller than Niagara Falls. We're also going to be stopping at this basilica, I think, and a chocolate shop. Aside from the lack of seatbelts on this bus, it's going to be a lot of fun. You can take a cable card down to the falls. No thanks. So, this building leads to these steps and this viewpoint over here. Probably from the rain. I crossed that bridge over there and I didn't know where all these steps would be, but here I am in front of the falls. I've been standing out here for a while and now it's starting to spray me a little bit. And I'm just going down, down, down. Oh yeah, we're not climbing down all those steps. That's too many steps for even me to handle. It wasn't raining as much as I thought it was going to this trip, but Either way, when you're over here, you're going to get wet one way or another. I'm on my way back. Back on the bus with plenty of time to spare. Next stop. Orleans Island. This chocolate shop. Today, dark dipped cone. I'm now standing at a basilica in saint anne de beaupre after a stop in a copper museum, which was responsible for these doors. I'm back. The tour lasted four hours instead of five. It was fun to get out of the city for a little bit and explore the countryside. If I had the chance, I would definitely go back and visit Orleans Island, but I better shower up to prepare for dinner, especially if I got all wet from the falls. Clouds have cleared, making it even more beautiful out here. It really feels like Paris. And this is just coming from someone who hasn't actually been there before. Well, I've been to Lumio City. Does that count? Out of anything Canadian, I had to get Kraft Dinner. A video comparing Kraft Dinner to the American Kraft Mac and Cheese? You know that's coming up. Now we have the Parliament of Quebec. Just outside the city walls, but that's okay because it really looks incredible, don't you think? Tonight I'm at Nom 
Centre Côte Saint Jean, which specializes in a Parisian dish called steak frites. It's just a dish consisting of steak and some kind of sauce paired with french fries. I've had all my reservations for 5.30 at all these places, but right now it's before 5.30, 5.15 to be exact. I'm getting peckish. Well, that didn't take long. You know, I don't think I've had any vegetables this trip so far, but these fries are cooked in peanut oil if that's healthy enough. I happened to be here on a federal holiday, and of course I made my restaurant reservations mostly in advance, but it's surprisingly not so crowded in here at all. I'm not exactly here during the high season, and it shows from the weather here. And for dessert, profiteroles, otherwise known as cream puffs, with ice cream inside. And here come more customers. Let's go. It was pouring on the way back over here and I didn't have my raincoat or umbrella with me. But the good news is it's probably the last of the rain I'm getting this trip. Is it time to go? I think so. So with that being said, this is Mike signing out, and I'll see you tomorrow.